Hi everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road and in this video I'm going to show you how to embellish one of your blank mini album pages using a flip flap type of page. You can do this on any one of the pages of the base mini album that we made earlier and if you missed that video I'm going to link up in the corner so that you can check that out and get to this stage. Here is the look that we're going for. This is my little Try It Out album. And for this flip flap page, I made sort of a, I don't know what you call that, uh, ma office mail closure. I don't know what to call it, but um, flip, flap, flip. And that's what we did on this page. So I'm just calling it flip flaps. If you have been following along, with this playlist, then i um, not sure if this is the first video you're watching, but we have most of our album already done. As a matter of fact, this is the last one. So what you're going to need for the flip flaps is you're going to need one piece that is uh, six inches by six inches. And then you're going to need two smaller pieces that are three and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. So once you get those pieces, then what we're gonna do is score the six inch piece. Just pick a side, any side, and we're gonna score a quarter inch so that we can create the little, the little flap there. Let me do this over here too. All right. And then these small ones, um, since they're going to flip and flap this way, we're going to score them on the long edge, and it's a quarter inch as well. I just usually mark mine and then turn it around so I can do it on the other side. Oops. Okay. I could just look at the three, you know, just look at the other measurement over here. It's all the same. Okay. That's basically it. You've got three pieces, and then we just um, simply put them in the album. Like I said, this one, um, if you're putting it in here like this, then, well, see, I usually assemble my pages like outside of the album and build them all up and then decorate them all with the paper, and then at the last minute I put the finished page in the album. But I didn't do that with this album, so it's gonna be kind of tricky and I think I might want it to go this way, away from the hinge, okay? Like so. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do on this one. A little different from my Try It Out album. So I will put some glue. And we'd never want to close, we never want to seal a tunnel shut. So I'm gonna have to go right on the inside here with my glue. Oops, oh my goodness, there. Okay, right inside the tunnel and fold it shut. And because I'm using some liquid glue, I can sort of wiggle it to where exactly where I want it. Oh no. Okay. You could use tape uh, 
as well, but I didn't want to mess with the fact that I very well could have stuck stuck it crooked and then it would just be a big pain so now for this one in terms of the closure keeping this closed I don't have to worry about that because these two flaps are going to keep this flap closed so it's that's why I'm sort of calling it flip flip flaps um, all righty now these, one is going to go here, just down. I, there's no tunnel to go inside, so I'll just open this one up and go down like this, and then I'll paper over that. In my Try It Out album, you see how I left the white all the way around it, so I didn't put the flap clear clear up to the top of the of the base page um, I'm gonna leave that kind of border that I want since this is a basic album uh, I'm just going to leave these edges plain we're just simply going to do the basics okay um, I can show you you know in some other video for I don't know I'm, I'm sure I'll make another mini album at some point and I can show you how to do a decorative edge, but really it'd be the, just as the same as when we did the, the deco edge and pocket in another video, okay? I think I went a little heavy handed on the glue. All right, about a quarter inch there. I'm not gonna wrestle with this just yet. Let me let it, just do its thing for a second here. Let's do a little less glue. Okay. Yep. There we go. Right. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, how does this look? It looks crooked. Thankfully, the liquid glue, right? now that looks really good now that looks really good now okay next over top here with about that same quarter inch and line that up as such that's gonna look really good yeah the basic album um, you don't have to do deco edges and you know, fancy stuff, you can, but once you know the basics, then you can do whatever you want. That looks great. And now let's add our paper. And maybe, oh, and a closure. Ooh, and a closure. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Ah! See, we're gonna have to add our paper pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, and a closure. Let's think about a closure here. Um, why don't we, um, uh, let's see. Why don't we do brads for our closure? I've got some brads now and I think what I wanna do is do I want these circles? Maybe. What are these squares? Ooh, maybe. I don't know, but I have enough, and I have tons of these. So, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. 
let's find some paper here. All right, so let's do a nice um, wooden back, nice dark. This is from Gray Mood. And let me, how about if I turn it over and then I can mark with a pencil and I'll be able to see it. All right, so let me go to, oh, a nice, looks like about, well, I'm gonna have to go to here. That's the issue. So, let me mark it at here, and look at that. there. All right, we can always make it smaller um, if we need to. I'm keeping that open because that liquid glue um, is sort of sticky. And I don't want my flaps to stick to each other. That looks really nice. Great. 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 Now, this is a nice photo spot, but um, if you have watched the whole rest of the playlist, then um, you know that right inside even though this is blank and it's a photo spot you could very easily apply your knowledge of the pocket and put a pocket right here we did it earlier we put a pocket right here inside a flap so really this is no different this is just a variation of um, of this first one really so yeah use what you already know I'm gonna paper the front and then put the brad through and open up the little legs for the brad so they're here and then put the paper on the back over top to cover that and then um, we can tie our string and do it do it like that all right so first let's do and then we can do this one uh, actually we should almost do that one first huh Do we want a, an, a little tab or a little opening? Maybe we can put a ribbon. Something to, something to grab right there. I like those little tab dies though. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Just that quick, I lost my pencil mark in this pattern. I can see that one. It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, there it is. to 
to do this without getting my head in the way. It's sticky down here. That's okay, we'll be covering that up in a second. Okay. That looks very nice. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. Now that we've got these papered, Let's decide where we're going to put our brads. I feel like if a brad was here and a brad was here, then they could wrap up. Don't you see what I mean? Here. And here, where was the other one? That would look pretty right there. Okay, now before we poke these holes, let's make sure that our we're gonna do this straight. All right, at least now they're straight. Now what I'm going to do here is to give myself just a bit of room. I'm not going to push it all tight. I'm just going to, uh, I mean, I'm going to push it tight, but I'm going to make sure that I can like get around, get underneath it too. Okay. Okay. And same thing here. All right, so now it's tight here, but there's room under under here. All right, and I'll add my ribbon uh, later on. really good just a neutral album but um, there's a lot of like embellishment sets extra sets flowers um, you know things 
that you might already have in your stash. So if you're making this one, if you're making this one with a paper collection, definitely share it. Um, if you share it on social media, um, please feel free to tag uh, hashtag Sandpaper Road Creates or hashtag Sandpaper Road, and then I will see uh, what you've made. I'd love to see your versions of this basic mini album, especially if you're a beginner, if this is your first mini album. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Yeah, that looks really nice. All right, and the last thing is to, uh, if we were smart people, which we are, we would get a uh, six by six paper and then just trim that down because it's a six by six piece. Oops. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty, okay. We seem to have a lot of, oh. Okay, that's good, that's pretty. Oops, that. Maybe if we make a tab, I don't know. I don't know if we'll make a tab. But if we do, there's a scrap piece of that that we can make our tab. I don't know. Yes, definitely uh, share your versions of this album, you know, on your Facebook, your Instagram, and definitely tag me for sure. I'm just so excited to see your tweaks on the beginner album and what did you do different and did you put the pages in a different order and what are the paper collections you used? You know, it's, I love that stuff. So, um, yeah, please, please uh, feel free to, to tag me. Clear out to here and we'll go clear to here. Okay. This is our last one. That is so satisfying. My goodness. Oops. Do you know what would be the ultimate satisfying? Is if my tape roll ended on my last piece just perfectly. Ah, not quite. I mean, I could force it, but no, it's not gonna. <laughs> you know what? That reminds me of um, like the odometer in the car when it all gets, uh, when the numbers all turn the same. <laughs> I don't know why that's so satisfying. <laughs> Just those little things, I guess, huh? Okay. There we go. I think we do need a little tab right here. Oh, I do have a small one. Oh, I do have a small one. How far will it stick out? 
here, wait a second. How far will it stick out? Nah. Well, I could go like that. Yeah, that would do it. I think this would do it, this teeny tiny one. Is the big, how big, how much bigger is the, oh yeah, it's quite a bit bigger. What about this one? Does this one stick out any less? No, it's the same. Let me cut this out of the scrap. And now let's put this right here like this. I'm gonna use glue, but I'm gonna use less glue because I'm seeing how sticky this is. And also, it's not just sticky, it's, um, you don't need much either, which is a good thing. Oops. Yeah, that actually looks really good like that. Mm-hmm. And then it helps you open that up. That's good. That's that's exactly what I wanted. Wonderful. All right, let's get a little ribbon. And let's tie this very tight. And now we just go like this. But we're going to have to, let's see. We'll cut this and then we'll, we'll use a little, I don't have a lighter or a match or something, but we'll have to sort of uh, cut it at an angle. Kind of uh, singe right there so it doesn't keep coming unsinged. That's what we'll do. We'll do that on these too, but um, that's sort of a last step. All right. This is cool because then we can add like little charms and things like that as you go to embellish. Oh, look how it looks. So cool, everybody. What a great page. So thanks so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed making this flip flap mini album page design with me. You can add it to any one of your mini album pages. Definitely check out the rest of the videos in this playlist. And by the time you are done watching all of them and following along, your mini album will be complete. It's so exciting. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.